heart is always taking in offense after offense after offense after offense after offense and if you're not careful it will begin to damage your attitude and the person that you used to be that you could have been that you would have been that you were designed to be begins to corrode from the toxicity of the buildup of all the things that have happened to you you are a blessed people we are we are blessed we are created in christ jesus I, we are created in christ jesus a unique individual there has never been another you there has never ever been another you thousands and thousands and thousands of years there's never been another you there never will be another like another you they can walk like you they can talk like you they can get their hair done like you there will never be another you you are a designer's original uniquely and fearfully and marvelously made in Christ Jesus. You were created by a creator in his likeness and in his image. Because your creator made you in his likeness, you are creative. You are creative. You know you're creative when you can take a little bit of nothing and do something with it. We are creative. Throw us in the woods and we'll make trees in the tables. We are creative. We can take anything and make something out of it. We didn't have all of this equipment years ago. Our grandmothers had washboards and turned over pots and start beating on pots with sticks and we made music. I don't care what you put us in, we'll turn it into something and make something out of it because we are creative people created in Christ Jesus we are creative until we collect so much offense that we are using all of our energy to manage our pain and all of the energy that could be going toward the abundant life and the progressive life and the promises of God that are in your life that your power is not being used in your destiny because all of your engines are exhausting power maintaining your history forgiveness is not an idea that that alleviates the, the perpetrator of his responsibility it is not about the perpetrator it's about liberating the victim it says you abused me once that was your fault but if I continue to regurgitate it over and over again that's my fault I'm not going to live in where I've been when I have an opportunity to cut the cord between me and you and live in where I'm trying to go forgiveness doesn't mean I agree with you it doesn't mean I think you were right it doesn't mean that you were flawless it just means that I have too much in front of me to allow the things behind me to leave me incarcerated and bound by you and I am not going to wait for you to forgive I'm not going to wait for you to ask for forgiveness you may not ask for forgiveness I can't give you that much power that I put my life on hold waiting on you to come to yourself I'm not gonna wait on it I'm not gonna wait on you to pay me back you may not ever pay me back the money I'm not gonna lose the peace over the money I can get some more money if I got some peace so I'm not gonna give you that much power besides some of the people we need to forgive are dead if you're waiting on them to say I'm sorry they'll never be able to do it but if nobody else cuts you loose you got to be able to cut yourself loose and say I'm not gonna die right here I am going to let 